considering the early mission, I can only wonder how this will go. Also, another part of the humour just stems from very basic hypocrisy. Let's move on. Let's just turn up to work in style. And no one saw it. Now, we want to go over to the left to go pick up our paycheck, but let's go in here and... Oh, they haven't filled this room with stuff yet. Oh, well, let's go find a little... Let's go into this little area back here. Filled this area with cash, though. Very nice. Cash has a few uses in this game, as you'd hope it does. I mean, aside from paying for milk, there are little shops dotted around a way to pick up extra health pipes if you need them. Vince needs to see you, dude. Thanks. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. But I just started yesterday. <laughs> Your check is on my desk. Go get it. And done. Not a great first or second day at work, but hell, if we kick those doors in, well, there's going to be repercussions, you know. Games are bad. They make you mad. Games are bad. They make you mad. Who's with me? Games are bad. They make you mad. Games Come on, everyone. Follow me. I really don't like the models in this game. So yeah, if you were playing on normal, they would all just have like handguns or just normal weapons, but he just ran in with a diseased cow head. Now, there's a lot of RWS employees on site. Also, we can piss in this game. Probably should have shown that off earlier. Uh, pressing the R button, because there's no reloading in this game, whips out your cock. Then you can piss. This has several utilities, but as you saw, you just aim up. Piss, and you put yourself out when you're on fire. And you can also piss in your own mouth. Yeah, there's a... Oh, hey, I don't want to fight you, you know. Jesus. I don't want to kill you, you know. Oh, dear. Well, there goes my vow of non-violence. And that's why Insano Mode can get you killed sharpish. Also, jibs. Let's try again. So I believe these guys have a particular ire for me because they just saw me heading into work. Also the diseased cow head. Yeah, because of the randomizer, giving these NPCs fire weapons is typically a recipe for disaster. Only a handful of NPCs will typically have explosive weapons and they'll be put in open areas so they don't completely kill their comrades. But in this scenario... In this scenario... A lot of people will get themselves killed. And we can f just have the spoils of their leftover weapons to use later. You typically won't find this in the normal game, but... Oh. And they're bringing me another one. And they're throwing scissors at me. Scissors that bounce. I'm just waiting for my uh, RWS buddies to get over it. As you can see, the AI in this game is not stellar. And by get over it, I mean slaughter my enemies for me. Always pays to explore every nook and cranny in this game. This is where Postal 3 was made, but with slightly worse tech. Yeah, the diseased cow head can't be put out by piss and it's going to block our path for a little while, so let's just wait for this hallway to just air out a little bit and then we can move through the anthrax. We can't play these arcade machines in the meantime, though. Not that we particularly wish to. There we are. You can also... Oh, I'm going to sh show it off, but... With one of the uh, mod edition weapons. You shoot these, there's an extra burst. There's an extra little puff of anthrax. Because if you have one of those cow heads, as I do, you can just lay them on the ground and shoot them. So they're kind of like a triggered anthrax bomb cow head thingamajiggy. And they cause the NPCs to vomit their guts up blood wise after a few seconds. Now we can get back to work. Take you days to get this many weapons in the original game. In fact, there's a whole mission about getting this later on. No need, we can skip the whole sordid process. Okay, well, let's just leg it. I'm just gonna tank the damage, not try and be uh, all coy about it. And we're gonna use one of the uh, health items we got. 
the, uh, the health pipe, as it's called. For me, but I feel great. No matter what, it will give you 125 health. But it does come with a side effect, which we'll get to when it comes up. It will probably hit us before the end of the day at this rate. But now we have our paycheck, and we got to head to the bank to cash this. But we had to make a stop off along the way. And, uh, yes, I know where we're going. Gary Coleman will put in an uh, appearance on Tuesday. He's their kind of celebrity endorsement. And he's not hitboxed properly either. I think I'll need to keep an eye out for these folks. They're definitely hazardous to my health. This will get pretty full in no time flat. We kind of rack up a couple new enemies a day. Uh, Monday though, it's a bit more easy going, so we only get one mortal enemy. Now, um, I'm going to explore the maps a bit more in the following days, but as I said, Monday is just going to be a bit more relaxed playthrough, just going from spot to spot. We'll take a short detour, though, just to kick this door in. Now, uh, you actually need to go up. As I said, hypocrisy is humour. Uh, you can just go up here and... Uh most some of the hidden areas are just accessed by walking the by walking the power lines. And NPCs laugh at my failure. But let's move on. Look out. It's not exactly subtle in this game. So, um, as you can see, why this didn't exactly beat GTA 3 out is, uh... Yeah, moving from A to B is a little bit bland, and it gets worse. It just really does get worse as the game goes on. There's nothing on their rooftop I checked in my little practice ru Oh, dear. So now they will kill us on sight. Or at least attempt to. Okay... She didn't seem to mind too much, though. They don't mind you kicking their doors in, though, which is handy for stealth purposes. They will kill me on sight if they, uh... Oh, dear! Rocket launcher enemies this early on. That's the problem of working with randomizers. Another little thing. Let's go back in his house now that he's killed himself. He probably doesn't want the house that much anymore. Take their money, too. Also killed his... Ma There's no other windows to show it off with. They blew up all of their two windows. You know, this game's a little bit harder when you can't uh, kill stuff. Fuck. Now we are at the bank area, and there's also a couple other things here. But we're going to have to make a detour along the way for an item I want to get, which will just help us be uh, better pacifists. I definitely need more of that. As I said earlier on, walking the rooftops is a worthwhile venture if you want to find hidden goodies. That's what I really like about this game is that, aside from anything else, the developers clearly cared about it. They may not have made the best product in the world, but they made a hell of a fun game. At least to me. And... Can't say first-person platforming is their strong suit, though. Luckily, there's only one required instance of it in the game. You can get through it fine without ever needing to do any of this power line bullshit. But there's an, there is an additional weapon up here. And a fish finder, which uh, acts as a radar of sorts. We don't really need it too much, though. You can actually use it at certain segments to see that they just spawn enemies in at, in certain levels. But we got some egg cartridges... Don't look that up. We also got this, which kill, which uh, kills stuff in pretty much the same way the cow head does, but it's less impressive. Is that guns in there? I've never actually jumped in that dumpster before. Ooh, that can't be good. And I won't now either. Also, much like Postal Dude's uh, car, all the cars in this game are, as described by the game itself, useless exploding props. So, uh, we can use them for explosions later on if we must, but they're a bit... Their collision detection's a little bit glitchy, you can get caught in the bonnet and such, so it's best to avoid them if possible. 
Oh, the NPCs got to killing before I even arrived. They're ahead of the game. This is also, um... I believe this is from the Eternal Damnation mod, this baseball bat. I haven't used it too much, though. We'll test it out when we get to murdering stuff. Sorry, just uh, checking the toilets for goodies as I do in my everyday life. Nothing good in these toilets, though, so the typical kind of disappointment. There is actually a flat around here that I want to check. Uh, I didn't want to make too many detours today, but this item is very, very beneficial to what we're after, and it will allow us to take a third option without murdering a single person, which is a uh, kind of track record so far, and this is the asylum. Pretty boring. Not much there to do, really, aside if, unless you want to murder mental people, and... I mean, what's the point in beating someone to death if they don't understand that it's happening to them? That's just tedious. If I don't find the uh, place I'm going to in too long, though, I might have gotten a bit too d distracted. I'll actually uh, zoom ahead a bit much. You're not going to miss anything aside from dull Arizona landscape. Or at least I believe it's a close emulation of Arizona landscape. Ah, yes, this is what we're after. Oh, hang on, let me just equip... Okay, little tip, if anyone ever wants to play this game. You're going to see a problem with my inventory management. Pressing E quickly puts your weapon away and pulls it back out again. That is handy for a very for a few reasons, mainly because with this many weapons, you're going to want to pick favourites. Now, um, there's also a police area. Beware of dog. If you walk in here, the police will uh, just turn on you if you're spotted. But we want to go in here. To the Bates Hotel. Didn't even notice that before. It doesn't even really draw a reference. There's no bloody shower or anything knocking about here. Nor is there any uh, like fucked up landlord of sorts. Because everyone in this town is fucked up. It would uh, have no bearing, really. Folks, all dude feels like shit. I wonder what caused that. Okay, we're going to have to get a little bit aggressive here. So, I don't want you killing yourselves or me, so, and I need a... God, I hope this is the right apartment. There's a Bible in here as well. Ah, there it is. Perfect. I'll be leaving. See ya. That's gonna... I knew I shouldn't have smoked that crap. NPCs will draw their guns if they feel threatened. They'll also start throwing scissors if they feel very threatened. So now we got this uh, catnip, we can go to the bank. God, that's a weird sentence. There's something I want to point out, but I can't because this area is not adequately displaying it. Okay, I'm just going to use the bird noise, even though it's not as obnoxious. But in most areas in the game, there's a kind of dull machine hum. And by God, it gets annoying after a while. And that man is wearing a hat. I don't like it. And this joke isn't funny. And the mesh looks ugly. And I'm not going to translate that. This doesn't count as our deposit, by the way. I mean, withdrawal, sorry. Jeez, I can't kick cash into that. Town meeting. Damn straight. Yep, I'm not gonna edit this. You're gonna feel the full length of this queue. And more people join in the queue. And the queue AI is glitchy, so you can get held up if you're not standing in exactly the right place. So we're just gonna smash into the back of this woman so no one steals our goddamn spot. This is what you want. So, um, we could just rob this bank. But we're gonna be a neutral citizen. We're gonna play it. We're gonna have our cake and eat it too. Thank 
I can help you over here, please. Hey. Hello. I need to withdraw some money. And how much would you like to withdraw? 80 bucks. All right. Let's change your account. All done. You rule. I think that clock was put there just to irritate the queuing players. But don't worry, I'm professional at this queuing horseshit. And how much did you need to deposit? One hundred dollars. How are you? Uh, okay, I guess. Okay, let's update your account. Uh, take care. And there you go. Kick ass. You're welcome. I can help you over here, please. Hey. Just moonwalk up to the teller. No, you fucking don't. Damn right. Hey. Hi there. Can anyone help you? I'd like to cash this pitiful and embarrassing check, please. What he said. Thanks. The lip syncing is also non existent. Mission accomplished with extreme prejudice. Time to head home. This is a um, You haven't exactly. Mo oh, God. No. Okay, so, um. Yeah. The randomized weapons, obviously the game hasn't accounted for them too well, because I'm pretty sure you don't hold a machete like a rifle. I mean, a shotgun in their case. And also, whenever they spawn with thrown weapons, it tends to end just before it begins. But let's use the pandemonium of the anthrax, which has turned up an awful lot. In all my practice runs, they never really gave them cowheads this often. Oh dear. We're not meant to be back here, if you can't tell. So we cashed our check, we got some dosh. We're dodging shurikens. How could this go any better? Well... Let's just go into the vault and take even more. And now this will spawn police on us. So, um, also it's given me, it's now switched me over to money here. So, you can use catnip to attract cats, but it has another purpose. And that purpose is as follows. Whoa, in a gotta da vida, baby. Yep. Yeah. Also, the jibs, that's another Week in Paradise edition. I don't really care for it. I think it looks a bit too much. Also, um, this is a Eternal Paradise edition. Cheers for the free weapons. I'll be off now. I am the super speed bank robber. So, really, you know, we cashed our paycheck and then we stole from them. We're, if anything, we're surely neutral. That balances out. We followed proper procedure and then we decided to just capitalize on a new opportunity. And that is not a bad thing. Besides, we did a lot better than those bank robbers. You can tell this game isn't payday because I haven't fucked it up and gotten everyone killed yet. And now because we've completed all the objectives, when we just go over to the next loading screen, the day will end. So, um... All the, uh... Monday will be the shortest day, and I've dragged it out pretty fucking long, so... Yeah. <laughs> Don't get um, comfortable with these video lengths. I will get more in depth about Postal 2's gameplay and such later on, but I hope this just sets the kind of thematic standpoint of the game. You go by work. Yeah, apparently I'm uh, on sabbatical or something. Well, good. Maybe you can get a few more things done for me. I'm gonna do a few things to you. What was that? Nothing, dear. Enjoy your milk. This will also be the only video that's done live commentary. The rest of the time is all going to be done in post. But uh, there's a couple of things I want to show off from Monday still.